Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at trigonometry on Khan Academy, and we're looking at graphs of trig functions, specifically the period of a function. And we will focus on this one, period of sinusoidal functions from equations. So let's try a couple of these out. Uh, we'll look at the general structure of these equations and how to read the period. Let's do that. So I think I have a couple, I have four examples for you. Um, and let's do the first one. y equals 7 times the sine of negative 3 pi over 4x minus pi over 4 plus 6. The anatomy of this equation is that we have a midline right here. This is our midline. So it's at y equals 6. We have an amplitude right here. It's the absolute value of that number. Equals 7. That's our amplitude. And then you have these two numbers in here. And in this case, we have... This is the number we're focusing on. It's referred to it as b, and um, it turns out that uh, the period is always equal to 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. And over here, we have a phase shift of our function. And the way it's written here, so let's say so the amplitude is a, this first number, the, the variable b, Help us figure out the period. Let's call our variable d for midline, and let's call this variable. And the way it's written here, you're really looking at um, b times a new variable c. And uh, I'll explain that as I write out down here. But you're seeing b and c multiplied. So in this case, your phase shift, that's your horizontal shift, and we'll learn about this in the upcoming videos, your phase shift the way this is written is represented by this number divided by b. So, um, so because you just want c to represent your phase shift, and I'll I'll explain that in future videos. But just the idea is that sometimes the way this is written, you have y equals and this is one actually common generic form, a so amplitude the absolute value of a is the amplitude times the sine of b x minus bc, b times c, that's this number here, that's our phase shift, plus d is our midline. That's one way to do it, but a nicer way to write this out is y equals the sine of, here you can factor b out, b times x minus c, and then plus d. In that case, you could say a couple of things. You could say the absolute value of a is the amplitude. Um, 2 pi over the absolute value of b is your period, c is the phase shift, and d is the midline. So it depends which version you're dealing with right here. And I think in these examples, though, you can between the two of them, you can see the phase shift is unchanged. Amplitude, sorry, period is unchanged, uh, which is determined by the variable b. Amplitude is unchanged, which is determined by A, and midline is un unchanged. The only thing that matters here is phase shift. So we'll look at that in another video. So we've got A, B, this phase shift, and D, but we only are looking at this. So period equals 2 pi divided by the absolute value of this. So that's going to be, let me write this down over here, 2 pi divided by, what was that fraction, negative 3 pi over 4, absolute value of that. Okay, so absolute value of negative 3 pi over 4, that's our b value. And that just means we're going to do 2 pi, and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, and it's going to be positive, we're taking the absolute value. And what happens here? Well, we get these pi's canceling out, and we get 2 times 4, which is 8 over 3, and that's our period. So 3 goes into 8, right, twice with a remainder of 2, so it's about every 2 and 2 thirds units, but you can leave the answer as 8 thirds. Next example, now we can move faster. We know we're looking at this, this is our b value, uh, sometimes referred to as k. And period is, is 2 pi divided by the absolute value of whatever b is. So in this case, it's going to be 2 pi divided by just pi over 2, where right? we're taking the absolute value of it. That means it's going to be 2 pi times 2 over 2, pi, 2 over pi. And what happens? The pi's cancel out, and 2 times 2 is 4. So every 4 units, this wave will repeat itself. 
try this one on your own. Pause the video, give it a shot. We're looking at this right here. This is our B variable. And period equals 2 pi divided by the absolute value of B. So it's just 2 pi divided by 4, which is 2 divided by 4 is a half, so it's pi over 2. And every pi over 2 radians, or whatever the units this represents, this wave will repeat itself. Finally, we have this one. Pause it, try it out. So our B value is this, right? B is pi over 8. So our period is 2 pi times, let's jump right to it, 8 over pi. Right? We, we divide by pi over 8, so we multiply by 8 over pi. And the pi's cancel out, and 2 times 8 is 16. So every 16 units, this wave will repeat itself. And that's it. All right, thank you.